Yeah, so thank you, but a month is good enough for me. Cause even, <laughs> even uh, I still have like the lights up and everything until New Year's, and I think that's what a lot of people do. Or yeah. Yeah, so it kind of really grinds my gears a bit that people celebrate it early, talking about Christmas, I don't know. I don't want to attack anyone, but I don't know those are the people who really love Christmas because just because you celebrate it sooner or longer, I don't think that really means you like Christmas. I mean... That's not really the whole spirit of Christmas and stuff, it's all about good tidings, being thankful, uh, being loving, being surrounded by loved ones and stuff, and if you only care about the, you know, like the, the material stuff, then mm, I don't know if you can really say you're a fan of Christmas, but that's just my thoughts, you know, and my opinion, so. No, you're those people. You don't have to listen to me. That's the beauty of having free will and opinions. They're just opinions. But I just, I just have to put it out there. <coughs> Here, radio. Okay. Yeah, sorry for that long journey on, and I guess kind of rant. I didn't really rant as much as I thought I would, like, at least aggressively or... I know it says it bothers me, but it probably didn't sound like it bothers me a lot. I'm just trying to be a little tame, you know? I can't get it out of my head. A storm that came out of nowhere, out of a clear sky, and brought down a plane. It's not rational. You know it's not rational, Lara. There must be some explanation. I, I just don't know what it is yet. Let's put the extended bag on this. Skills. Brawler. List Good turn. A lot, a lot of commodities. We're climbing next in combat. Nice. So now we can do melee attacks. Okay. Uh. Yeah, and speaking about Christmas. Lara, what the hell happened? The storm. It came out of nowhere. These clouds. They just surrounded the plane. Lara, listen. I saw the crash from here, so you must be close to my position. Just get back here safe. All right. <sighs> On my way. Uh, I really did want to play something like, like a Christmas game, kind of like how I did with Halloween, playing Resident Evil. You know, horror game. <laughs> oh. Over here! I'm in position. Fire it! Oh shit. Oh, that was close. Rope. Nice, we got rope. That's what 
we can do with rope. I should have waited till they're reloading. I'm an idiot. <laughs> oh, uh, so I was trying to. I was trying to. I wanted to do like a Christmas game, like I did with Halloween, Resident Evil. Uh, but that proved to be very difficult because there really aren't a lot of Christian games, and if there are, probably not that good. And it's just because, how do you really even make a Christian game that's fun? I mean, Halloween's easy because you just play anything horror related. So it's simple. So it's Christmas. So hard. The only thing I can think of is just playing like winter games. Uh, but other than that, that's really it. The only game I guess I can think of off the top of my head that I can play is Arkham, uh, Batman Arkham Origins because that game takes place during Christmas Eve. But still, it's not like you really have a lot of Christmas going on. It just happens. It just happens on the day of Christmas Eve, on the night of Christmas Eve. Uh, but still your standard Batman game, so... There's got to be one up. So yeah, I was struggling with that. I'm really excited for Christmas. It's the first time, it's my first Christmas since my first Christmas uh, on my own. Uh, so I'm excited for that. And I finally got my decorations up and up and ready. Which really made me happy because last year when I was doing with my mom, I, we didn't get the chance to do that. We were. Uh, living in, we were living in this dude's house and we were kind of sharing the house with him and we were, we pretty much stayed in the room that, in our room, so we didn't have room for that. Remember we went to a hotel, or to, to the Hilton Hotel that we have here, it was a really nice place, me and my sister got our own room, which is good because I was afraid we were going to room up with, with my parents, which I kind of didn't want, but it was good that my mom understood that we're at that age where <laughs> we kind of want to be on our own. So yeah, it was a night, yeah, last year was nice, sure, there were no decorations, but hey, at least I got to stay at a very nice hotel. I never thought I would stay in, ho in a hotel like that. We ate dinner, uh, it was, it was really nice. But I really love setting up, uh, you know, the tree, the Christmas tree, the lights and everything, so I'm really happy about that. I have a good amount of presents underneath my Christmas tree. I'm listening to Christmas music, and yeah, listening to Christmas music, watching Christmas movies, all those kind of hard to watch. A lot of good Christmas movies. Hey, I'm obviously gonna watch the good ones, like the Grinch, those ones, but then I'm also... Uh, because I have Hulu and Netflix and Amazon Prime. I also have a bunch of, you know, those movies from the Hallmark Channel, which I know they can be a little cheesy, but I kind of like watching them. Uh, just to get in the spirit of Christmas and come on, we know a lot of Christmas movies have to be a little cheesy because that's, you know, Christmas is all about love and stuff. 
of course, I feel like the Hallmark Channel really does go a little too far in the whole romance thing, which isn't really necessary all the time, but hey, whatever. Uh, that's how they want to do it. That's how they do it. I know a lot of people love those movies anyway, so. And for me, it, it has to, it's kind of like a hit or miss. The movie has to be pretty interesting for me to enjoy it. Because I have watched a couple of those. Um, but it has to be good. Uh, the other day I watched, uh, what was it? Holidays in Handcuffs or Christmas in Handcuffs? Something like that. It was Melissa Jones' part and uh, Mario Lopez. I liked it. It was really good. I'm really glad you moved. <laughs> You and me both, girl. One moment they were fine, the next. There was this storm, it came out of nowhere. It's not your fault, Laura. I called them here, Ross. Hey, we'll find another way. Mayday, Mayday, this is co-pilot Justin Bavir. Another pilot. One, seven, seven, Hello, hello, can you hear me? Yeah, badly hurt when I landed, I need to bring aid. Is anyone there? Captain Jessup, do you read? I've deployed a smoke signal, please respond. <sighs> Damn it, he can't hear me. I have to get to him. No. His signal's just over there. We've got our own people to worry about. We'll need to regroup as soon as they find Sam. I can't just leave him out there alone. I need to get to him. Sometimes you've got to make sacrifices, Lana. You can't save everyone. I know about sacrifices. No, you know about loss. Sacrifice is a choice you make. Loss is a choice made for you. I can't choose to let him die, Ross. Wow, that was pretty deep. Never saw it that way. That loss is sacrifice is a choice you make, whereas loss is a choice you make for you. And I guess it kind of does have a point that Lara can't save everyone, but hey, I'm with Lara. Maybe, maybe we can't, but that doesn't mean we shouldn't try. Besides, I think our, the crew can handle their own, so they're, they're good. What the? I, oh, I did watch, uh, last month, this I, looks clear. I did watch we ain't gonna find last Christmas, the one with uh, Emilio right Clark. I liked it, it was good, of course. I'm gonna head down and join know, the others at the plane. You keep checking these ruins. Everyone... <laughs> when the trailer came out, everyone yeah. was able to predict right the. Up. Was able to predict the the, the, the twist. Uh, everyone was able to predict the twist, <laughs> which I find funny. I didn't watch the I didn't watch the trailer until after the movie, so the twist I didn't see. I kind of didn't see coming. Uh, I just thought it was gonna be another standard Christmas romance Help me story. Ah, oh, crap! Fuck. Uh, us all. oh my aim! <laughs> my aim was straight doo doo. Yeah, I watched. Uh... Anyone out there? Huh? I'm here, Reyes. What's your situation? We followed a group of men to some kind of city. This place is insane, Roth. What the hell are they doing here? I don't know, and I don't think I want to know. Mm. Any sign of Sam or Whitman? Nothing yet. Are you with Lara? Yes. We'll be uh, heading down the mountain soon to meet up with you. Okay. We'll try to get in a bit closer. Keep this channel open. Oh, there's a wreckage. Used in traditional Japanese herbal medicine or kampo. <laughs> Looks like this vial has been sealed for many years. Feel vibration. These are probably maitake mushrooms uh. used to boost the immune system. 
Yeah, I didn't see the trailer until afterwards, and then when I looked at the comments, that's when everyone pretty much guessed the ending. Or, not the ending, the twist. There is a, there is a huge twist in the movie. Um, I'm not gonna say it. You could just look it up on YouTube if you really want to watch the movie. You probably know it anyway, so. But yeah, anyways. Uh... And then, like a day after, I read an article where that said that Mila Clark was pretty pissed off that <laughs> that uh, she's pretty pissed off that people actually guessed the movie's ending or the twist. And I kind of feel bad for her because I feel like she's been having a bit of a bad year. There's also the whole Game of Thrones fiasco. I mean, I don't watch Game of Thrones, I never really got into it, but hey, I did hear about the Season 8, uh, bummer. Wait, are we already back? Are we? Oh yeah, hey look at that, we're back. Cause there's a tower and we're back in the mountain village. That's good. Uh, I'm just lighting up these remaining. How do I, oh. I was gonna say, how do I get to that? But I just found a way and I just fell. That's just great. Uh, I guess I can go up here. Uh, but it's a good movie. I like it. Uh, sure, if you already know what the twist is, we can I draw some uh, from the surprise factor. Uh, but it's still good. I recommend it if you want to watch a Christmas movie. Uh, I, I love Bad Mom's Christmas. I watched that last year when it came out in theaters. I actually chose to watch that over Thor Ragnar. I chose to watch that and Justice League over Thor Ragnar. Now I don't regret watching Bad Mom's Christmas. I love Mila Kunis, so that was already more than a good enough reason to watch it. Uh, cause she is she's my favorite actress of all time. I think she's the prettiest woman I've ever seen. But, I do regret watching Justice League instead of Thor Ragnarok because I really thought, I really thought Justice League would, would have been good. I don't, I, I don't know. I love DC more than Marvel, but Marvel does, does make the better movies, so I can't deny them that. And when I ended up watching Thor Ragnarok later, That's I really signal. loved it. I didn't know it was going to be funny because, keep in mind, bef pretty much before that movie, Thor was a very serious type dude. And so, that's why, that's one, I think that's one reason why I didn't watch Thor Ragnarok. I should have though. I mean, I did anyways. I could have watched just this movie later, it was no problem. Come on, we gotta get back. Shut up and let me finish. What the? How did he? How did he? My only question is, how did he see me? I was behind these rocks. I know he doesn't have X-ray vision or anything like that. Yeah. I hope there's a there's a base camp nearby. Oh, there's a secret tomb nearby. I think it's down there. All right, we're gonna go to that tomb. You know we gotta raid these tombs. Okay, I guess I can't do that. Uh. Uh, yeah. 
Yeah, so those are some movies you wanna go, you wanna watch. I'd recommend those too, if you haven't already watched them. It is time for me to leave this accursed island. I have seen enough of Yamatai. I cannot explain the power the Sun Queen wields, but it is not of this earthly plane. As I suspected, she knew my intent the moment I set foot on this island. She has manipulated me, toyed with me to see what information I would seek. But she always knew. If I am allowed to leave this place alive, I must warn my lord, warn him that we should avoid Yamatai at all costs. If we wish access to her seas, we should pay any tribute she requires. But we should never cross the Sun Queen. To do so would lead to our ruin. Of the other things I have seen, those dark horrors, I can never speak of again. Wow, well this Sun Queen really seems peachy now, doesn't she? There's a lot going on here. Alright. I see a pull over there, but I guess no way there. <coughs> I really do need to find a base camp soon, which, speaking of which... Alright, I can't do that. Damn, how the hell do I get back? What the? I'm really at a lost word right now on how to get back. I have to get over there. Uh, okay, wait. Oh, the tomb was up there. I remember now. Oh, I'm so Uh, you know what? I'm gonna kill myself. Uh, because I don't know how to get back over there. Let's see where my last checkpoint was. Well, this is my last checkpoint. Alright, well, I think this will just about uh, be the end of this part of the playthrough. So, anyways. Uh, thank you guys for watching and uh, see you guys next time.